Mother whose son was shot and killed in Kenston this week is speaking with News Channel 12 for the first time tonight. And that's where we find News Channel 12's Star Connor, who joins us now live. Community members are coming together and making a memorial fund for one of their own. 28 John Palmer was shot and killed while riding his bike early morning on Monday to work. Now those in the community that loved him are making sure that his four children don't go without. I love you, John. I love you so much, John. I love you so much, baby. I'm so sorry, you gone. Still in shock, Sheila Anderson is realizing she has to prepare to say goodbye to her only son, John Palmer. Someone shot Palmer on Airport Road while he was riding his bike to work. Anderson says her son was a hard worker and loved his four young kids that he now leaves behind. My son is a good man. He loves his children. He loves his mama. He loves his sister. He loves his family. He was very positive, always speaking about God. Co-workers stopped by the family's home, giving hugs and sharing memories. Palmer worked at UNC Lenore Healthcare, just one of two jobs he worked. His supervisor, Beverly Wellington, told me what stood out the most about Palmer was his character. Uh, outgoing, outspoken person. Um, he loved to dance dearly. He loved to dance. He loved his music. And every now and then I will have to like, John, put your music up or quit dancing, you know, but you know, he, he did that. Um, that was just his passion. Kitston police arrested Irvin Waters Jr. for Palmer's murder. His mother says she's thankful for everyone for making sure her son's death isn't in vain and even forgiving those who took her son's life. The gentleman that killed my child, I forgive you. Now, a memorial fund has been set up at the State Employees Credit Union here in Kinston, Goldsboro, and Snow Hill branches. Live in the Lower County, I'm Star Connor for News Channel 12.